All right, the court's going to call up the matter of the people of the state of Michigan versus Dawn Marie Dixon Bay. Okay. And uh, we're here uh, on a remand of this case for uh, a further resentencing. And I think the, the Court of Appeals wanted some more specific clarification on the court's departure from the sentencing guidelines in this matter. Right, but the law, I believe. And, 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 and so, so in your mind, a 12 year to 20 year sentence is appropriate for somebody that stabbed somebody in the heart twice in a premeditated, deliberate fashion. You, 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 you think that that's, that's, that's the only thing the judge can do, right? In this particular case, if you want me to go on, I was not gonna delve into the facts here, but yes, I do, well, Your no, Honor. I think, I, I think the facts are really important because I can tell you right now, I found her actions to be premeditated, deliberate, and supporting a first-degree murder. All right, well, in balancing the four goals of sentencing, to punish, to deter, looking at the protection of the community, looking at uh, Ms. Bay's rehabilitation, and individualizing the sentence to her situation. You know, she's 43 years of age, doesn't have any felony record. She's got 11 misdemeanors. Uh, the, the sentencing guidelines, which I'm cognizantly taking into account our, our, our 12 years to 20 years. The facts of the case are, and I want, to, I want the court to be unequivocally clear in their understanding that clearly the facts justify a sentence at the top end of the ring, 20 years. So if this ever gets appealed again, I don't want them to be clear because she absolutely earns the top of the guidelines. She stabbed the victim in the heart, not once, but twice, and murdered him in cold blood. And I say in cold blood because there was evidence during the trial where she talked about killing and murdering somebody, how she was going to do it, how she was going to plead self-defense. She'd been thinking about doing this for a while. She went out and got a weapon. Oh she God, planned him. Lie. She attacked him. And, 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 I, and I like to quote a couple of things with respect to my decision. First of all, the, the Court of Appeals has consistently held that facts cannot be considered consider, considered in scoring the offense variables may nevertheless be considered as reasons to justify a departure from the guidelines. And just like Justice Markman recognized, however, the Court of Appeals failed to recognize that the trial court relied on these facts not because it believed the guidelines accorded them inadequate weight, because it believed that they indicated the defendant had actually committed first degree premeditated murder, something that was not fully taken into consideration by the guidelines. And that's a justice on the Supreme Court. I want to be clear. I absolutely would intend to sentence her at the very top end of the range of 20 years, except that I just don't think 20 years is an adequate sentence for this brutal, premeditated murder. And I think I can still consider that evidence of premeditation and deliberation, even though she didn't get convicted of it, but it was evidence before the court and jury. So therefore, I'm going to sentence the defendant to a sentence of Rather than the 35 to 70 years that I gave her, I'm going to give her 30 years to 70 years in prison. I am considering the proportionality. I'm giving her an additional 10 years in prison for a cold-blooded, premeditated stabbing of a, of a victim of this community twice in the heart. But I think my sentence is correct with the additional 10 years. And if they, if they want it, another judge to do it again, and maybe they can convince some judge, that she, oh, I should only get 12 years for second degree murder when I stab somebody in the heart twice. You know, sometimes the sentencing guidelines are just not right for certain categories. And this, this is a case where I think they got them wrong. And I think they're inadequate. When, when, you, when you can get a second degree murder conviction, you're looking at the low end at 12 years in prison. I've got burglars I've sent to prison longer than that. I had one the other day for 19 years. You know, but, but there were different cases. I recognize that. But I carefully considered those guidelines of 12 to 20 years, and I considered matters that I've articulated on the record that were not properly considered by the guidelines. 
And I totally agree with the rationale set forth by Justice Bartman, and I hope they appeal it to the U.S. Supreme Court. Well, definitely appealing. So she gets credit for 1,979 days. All the other fines and costs remain the same. You have 42 days to appeal your judgment and sentence if you think I legally erred in any way. Thank you.